Welcome to Whiskey's a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano, and it's Wednesday, which means it is my channel segment called Sip It or Skip It. This is how it works. I have all of my whiskeys in my collection randomized on my phone. I'm going to spin the wheel, whatever it selects. I'm going to pull it off the shelf and do a quick review and let you know if I'm going to keep sipping on the bottle until it's gone and then replace it because I like it. Or once the bottle's gone, I'm going to skip buying it and go on and buy something else. So if that sounds something like you're going to like and you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Turn that bell notification on. I go live with videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're doing today. Oop, no volume this time. And we've got gold spot number nine or gold spot nine, gold spot nine year. This was actually done in my Irish single pot still whiskey series, which I do on Mondays. Well, I'm already finished with that, but on Mondays I end up doing a specific whiskey. And right now I am currently doing my single barrel bourbons. A couple of weeks ago, I ended up doing single pot still Irish and that was in there. So let's go ahead and grab it off the shelf and do a quick review. All right, here we go. Gold spot nine. For some reason, the nine didn't ring a bell. I just referred to this as gold spot, but apparently it's a nine year aged single pot still Irish whiskey. Like always, the information for the whiskeys right here, along with my sip it and skip it tallies. Let's go ahead and get this thing poured and do a review on it. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. Right off the bat, this smells very, very vanilla. Not vanilla as in plain, but there is a vanilla note. It comes across as extremely, extremely sweet. I have a very, very slight touch of sulfur it's been my experience in the past that eventually that sulfur note does go away. Back behind that vanilla note, I also get some sort of like vanilla cookie. It's, it's almost the vanilla wafers. It's not necessarily an Irish shortbread cookie or a shortbread biscuit. I'm not exactly sure what those taste like or smell like. This comes across to me as one of those vanilla wafers. So you get that breadiness in there along with the vanilla. If smell had a texture, this would be creamy, almost like to the point of a whipped cream. There is a little bit of a sherry note in here, which leads me to believe, and I think I do remember this is going to be matured in three different barrels. So here it is on the back of the label, bourbon barrels, sherry butts, Bordeaux wine casks, and pork pipes. Non-shell filtered and bottled at 102.8 proof. So the sherry notes are definitely going to be in here somewhere along the lines of a raisin note, a really good dark ripe peach. Do get a little bit of like barrel, like a wood or oak in here. And then there's a small little tinge of some pepper. So let's go and get this thing on the palate and see what I think of it. On the arrival, there's a little bit of a bite, a little bit of a tangy, sour, bitter note. It's not really bad. It's not off-putting. It's just not necessarily my favorite note in the spot lineup. It's pretty spice forward. You get a little barrel tannin on the side. The vanilla and the sherry is there as well. I wouldn't say that the finish on this is very long, probably somewhere around the medium range. It does linger a little bit, but the lingering note that I get is a little bit bitter, a little bit sour. But then again, that was my first sip. You can't always trust that first sip. So let's get that second one down and see if anything changes, see if I can get anything else out of it. On that second sip, as I was bringing it up to my nose to take the sip, and I inhaled through the, through the nose, I got a little bit of a raisin note. The peach and the vanilla are there. That pepper note is definitely still there. With those first two sips down, I would not say that this is well-rounded. There is a little bit of a sharp note to it, and I don't know if that's just the pepper or overall experience has some sharpness to it. It's not necessarily as sweet as I thought it would be with the port pipes and the sherry and the bourbon. And as far as the Bordeaux wine that's coming through, I don't necessarily know if I can pick that up at all. I'm not exactly sure if I know how Bordeaux actually tastes. And at the very tail end there, as this is settling in, I do get which is very strange. It's a dark roasted coffee lingering feeling or lingering note, which I have never had in any of the spot whiskeys. So that's very, very strange. I wonder if it's just today, 
but there is definitely a roasted coffee after taste in my mouth right now. Let's get that third sip down and then let's move on to whether or not this is going to be a sip or a skip for me. On the third sip, the pepper note's still there. It's a little bit sweeter on the palate now. The sulfur note is gone. The vanilla note is still there. The vanilla wafer or that breadiness is also lingering around. And I gotta tell you, it's very, very strange, but a dark roasted coffee note is lingering. And I don't know if that's the barrel and the wine. I'm not exactly sure, but that's very, very strange. Let me know if you've ever had any coffee notes in any of these spot whiskeys. That's kind of thrown me for a loop. I've had this before, but I have never gotten that note before, but it's definitely there. It's, it's, it's a coffee note, like a roasted coffee bean, which is very strange. I don't think that's a good, a good mixture at all. There's a good amount of fruitiness that comes with this as well. And maybe that fruitiness is coming across as peach and raisin. That part of it, I like, but the pepper, the bitter, the sour note, that coffee, uh, I'm not digging it. So this is probably not gonna be much of a surprise for many of you, especially if you've seen my review on Gold Spot Nine Year from my previous series on Monday. I don't think this is the strongest bottle in the spot lineup. And of all of the spots in the lineup, I would rank this one probably down towards the bottom. So with that being said, this is definitely going to be a skip for me. And I do believe that this was $130 which is going to solidify that even more. And that's definitely going to be a skip. Way too much money. The profile is not my favorite in the spot lineup. It's unfortunate, but for me, it's gonna be a skip. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it today. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do. If you're familiar with Gold Spot, let me know in the comments down below where you would rank this within the spot lineup. And until the next time, I hope you're enjoying your journey and we'll talk to you later. Bye.